Just 12 months after the launch of the Panigale V4 SP, Ducati has introduced an updated SP2 version of the Bologna factory's exotic track-focused superbike. This new SP2 gets a 1.5 horsepower boost, for a maximum of 215.5 horsepower at 13,000 rpm and max torque of 91.2 pound FT at 9,500 rpm. In Europe, the US models produce 210 horsepower at a 500 rpm lower peak and 90.6 pound FT at 11,000 rpm. It has four riding modes, Street, Sport, Race A, and Race B. There's a fabulous sounding STMEVO dry slipper clutch, a lighter 520 chain, and an optional titanium Akrapovic system that takes the power up to 228 horsepower while trimming 11 pounds of mass. Suspension, too, is aligned with that found on the new V4S, meaning an Olean's Smart EC 2.0 electronic control system with Olean's NPX 2530 forks replaces the NX30 units and a TTX 36 shock at the rear. Primarily, though, the SP2 is a glorious exercise in mass micromanagement. At 381.4 pounds dry, it weighs the same as the original SP and is just 2.2 pounds lighter than the V4S. But the ounces are shaved from critical areas, such as with the carbon wheels. The mission is to make a Ducati V4 even easier to ride blisteringly fast on track. To that end, there's more carbon fiber, the front mudguard, for example, which alongside carbon rims, further reduces unsprung mass compared to the V4S, 3 pounds lighter, the same as the older SP. There are other details, like the revised tank and the riding position adopted by the V4S this year. The aero winglets have been redesigned for less drag compared to the older SP1. And there's that striking winter test livery to help the SP stand out from a crowd of red V4S, essentially, Duke has taken the new Panigale V4S, added the SP trinkets and the carbon and the other stuff mentioned, and then tossed in adjustable pegs, upgraded Stylema R brakes, and a GPS-based Ducati data analyzer, and dressed it in this stunning livery. Cycle World got to ride the new SP2 alongside a standard V4S at the Mizano MotoGP racetrack. First Taste the undamped noise of that dry clutch reverberating off the garages at Mizano is about as evocative as things get. Not many bikes can excite a tick over, but the SP2 most certainly does, that sound at a racetrack makes the whole thing feel full factory. Ducati has always made its SPs truly special. From the 851 to the V4 Panigale, they've been the poster bikes for each generation of Ducati Superbike. It's no wonder this new V4 SP2 makes the heart beat faster. Clutch in, slightly heavier than standard, down on the shifter, which can easily be transferred to race shift, feet back on the special Rhizoma aluminum multi-adjustable foot pegs complete with carbon heel guards. Clutch out and the SP2 is away, heading down the pit lane on preheated Pirelli slicks. Immediately the machine stretches its legs down the back straight. Even when not up to speed, upshifting at around 12,000 RPM, well before the red line, it's still arm-ripping quick. It takes a while to recalibrate to riding any Panigale V4, let alone an SP. Power delivery is identical to the standard model, race B mode, which restricts torque in the lower gears, seems about right for a 97-degree day at Mizano. Race A and full power is a little too aggressive, especially in such heat. Super sharp track specialists might disagree and want even more power, this can be achieved by fitting the Akrapovic exhaust system. But even the standard power output will make running most circuits feel like flying a jet fighter around a supermarket parking lot. Our test was conducted on a Pirelli track day, right after the WSBK round. The Pro Group is mainly 1,000 cubic centimeters race bikes with dedicated gearing, yet the Panigale SP2 has no problems keeping up, on occasion pulling out of the slipstream and cruising past. The bike never seems stressed, an exhausted rider can just lazily square off the corner, get back on that immense power, and breeze past slower traffic without having to push hard in the corners. But dance on the smooth, clutchless quickshifter, get the revs singing, and the SP2 really delivers. Now with less unsprung and rotational mass thanks to those lighter carbon wheels, the SP2 accelerates even faster, 
so much so that Ducati has been forced to recalibrate its excellent electronic rider aids. Straight line speed isn't a massive jump over the standard V4S, as it is when comparing the Street Fighter SP to the standard bike, but is noticeable when riding both bikes back to back. Some may have expected more power from the SP2, but unless you are Alvaro Bautista, it's simply not needed. On paper, the separation between the SP2 and the standard V4S isn't as significant as the difference between the Street Fighter SP and Street Fighter S, which on track proved to be around 2 seconds. In back-to-back -back private testing, Ducati claims test rider Alessandro Valia was 1 second faster on the SP2. As both the V4S and the SP2 use the same engine, the difference in lap times is purely down to handling. To be fair, it is hard to criticize the standard V4S, Ducati's recent improvements have been significant. Yet the changes to the SP2 put this Panigale on another level. The speed at which it turns, especially during fast direction changes, and the accuracy of its line take this motorcycle into its own class. In the very fast and scary fourth and fifth gear turns toward the end of the lap the SP2 felt like it could carry more corner speed every time, pinging from apex curb to exit curb and back to apex curb with such precision it was no more than a few millimeters different each lap, despite doing over 150 miles per hour. The first, ultra-technical section of Mizano is all about clipping false apexes, letting the bike drift wide, then pulling it back into the corner proper. Clean exits are crucial, and none more so than coming out of turn 6. Again, the SP2 felt easier to manage than the V4S, flowing and running over the curb on the exit with confidence. The V4S isn't hard work, far from it, but after a 20-minute session of chasing race bikes in scorching Italian heat, I felt I had had more in reserve on the SP2, I could lap at around the same speed with less effort. Again, much of the credit must go to those lighter wheels, which save some 3.1 pounds in rotating mass over the V4S forged items. The revised riding position also gets some credit, situating the rider more in the bike and more behind the fuel tank rather than over the fuel cap. The fuel tank itself is wider, offering the rider better support, which in turn should make the rider feel more relaxed. It's also worth mentioning the adjustable pegs, which can be set higher than standard, allowing tired riders to keep their toes free of the track surface with minimal motion. Grip and feel of the pegs are also improved over standard, allowing riders to push through them with confidence as boot toes feel like they're clipped in, bicycle style. Thanks for watching. Drop a like. Leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos like this.